We're going to talk about how to say verbs that are past tense, regular verbs that are past tense, because not every verb follows the same rule. But there's a big group of verbs that follow a rule. When you're trying to make a verb past tense, you want to add an ed to it. So let's go ahead and just start. With the word wants, in order to make it past tense, we need to write it with an ed at the end. Same thing for need and decide. But look at the word decide. It ends in an e already. So all we have to do is add the d. Same thing for the word visit. Avoid. Now, we've made these words into past tense. That means that these are words that have already happened. Verbs, actions that have already happened. So now we need to say these words. But you might think, well, the E and the D sound make the ed sound. So all we're going to do is say ed. But that is incorrect. We're not going to just say ed. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to say a different sound. So the sound that we say when a verb ends in a T or a D sound is id. Id. Now let me write it down. Here is id. Okay. So when we say these words, we're going to end them with id. So let's go ahead and start. We have the word wanted, needed, decide it, visited, and avoided. Okay, did you hear the it sound at the end? Wanted, needed, decided, visited, and avoided. These words end in ed, but they make a special sound. The sound is id. Now, right off from the start, I'm going to tell you, even though we write the e and the d, we never say ed. Never. There's three special sounds that we say, and the first one is id. Now let's move on to the second section of verbs. These end in a syllable, I'm sorry, in a consonant that is unvoiced. So what this means is basically it doesn't make a sound. It's like, it's more of a air escaping from your mouth sound. When this happens, you're going to end verbs in ed again in order to make them past tense. So let's go ahead and just add the ed to them to make them past tense. And again, if the verb ends in an e, you just write a d. Okay, now that all these verbs have been made into past tense, now we have to figure out, okay, how are we going to say the ed? Are we going to say ed? No, we're not. We're, gonna, we're actually going to make the t sound. The T sound. So all these verbs will end in t, t. Now, the first time I say these words, it's going to be a little bit exaggerated. Here we go. Worked. Laughed. Helped. Kissed. Looked. Danced. Watched. Fixed. All the verbs end in T. So, now, if the verb ends in a sound that's like an air sound, it'll end in T. So again, we don't say work it, we don't say help it, we say worked, helped, looked, watched, fixed, danced, kissed, and left. Okay, sometimes the T sound's not going to be that strong, but you will hear it. And then we go to the last section of verbs. On the last, last section of verbs, we have verbs that end in a voiced sound. So they sort of make like a sound like like something you can hear, not just air, love, call, follow, enjoy. So when we're dealing with these kind of verbs, we're still going to add an ed to them. So let's go ahead and add an ed or just a d to them to make them past tense. Okay, so we've gone ahead and we've added the D sound. I'm sorry, the ED to make them past tense. Now, what sound are we going to make? We're going to make a D sound, just a D sound by itself. So it will say D. So here we go. Let's go ahead and go through these vowels. It's voiced, called, cleaned, offered, followed, used, loved, damaged, enjoyed, amazed, so I've exaggerated the d sound so you could hear it, but now let me say I'm in regular, just my regular voice, my regular sound. Voiced, called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. So you can still hear that d, but not as strong. So then this is it. 
whenever you want to conjugate or make a regular verb into past tense, you're just going to add an ed. And the reason we add an ed is just to make it easy all across. Even though it doesn't sound like an ed or an ed, we still put the ed and it ends in id, in t, or in d. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm new to YouTube and these videos have actually been, they've been watched and I've actually gotten some likes. So I'm really, really appreciative for all this. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. If you want to see a specific grammar rule or you have a question about something, write it down in the comments. I'll go ahead and I'll answer it to the best of my knowledge. I am very, very appreciative for every, everybody who's watching my videos. Thank you so